I've reached the Plaza Mayor here in Cuenca. As you can see, there are these buildings with beautifully colored facades, um, and past them the church, um, and lots of little terraces for sitting outside and having a drink. Um, the city dates from as early as the 900s, um, and today is a World Heritage destination. It's lunchtime here in Spain, in Cuenca, and I am having lunch with a couple of friends at one of the local restaurants. We have had the Menu del Día, which is the menu of the day, and here uh, my friend Regulo is still having the first course, which was a very nice stew, and I have moved on to my second course, which is a lamb chops, which are a specialty of this area, um, and my wine. And to come will be dessert uh, for a price of 15 euros, which is roughly somewhere around $19, I believe. So say hello to Spain. This will give you an idea of some of the older houses in Cuenca. Uh, these ones that you see here are actually single houses. Um, up at these top levels, they actually have an entrance onto a higher street and then a second entrance way down below, as many as 12 or 13 stories below, um, on a lower street. Uh, and these houses are built right into the stone hillsides of this part of the city. The building across this iron bridge is a former convent that has now been turned into a parador and look how far of a drop it is. I am on the ramparts of the city here right by the Museum of Modern Art and you can see the, um, the countryside here. It's a bit of a cloudy afternoon but at least you can get an idea of Cuenca. We're looking here at the Museum of Modern Art and this building that clings down the hillside there, dates from the 15th century. You can actually get out on those balconies, but it always used to give me the creeps a bit, knowing what a drop there was. Here's the rest of the city. It's really built atop these tremendous, tremendous cliffs, which you can see as we move a bit farther away. Again, I'm standing in the middle of the Iron Bridge across the gorge, and you can see the city and also see how far down it is. Quite a drop there. This building, this large building here, used to be the headquarters of the Inquisition up until, from the 16th century up until the Inquisition was disbanded in the mid-1800s, I believe it was. And over here again is the Parador, which is the old convent. So it's really quite a stunning location um, and a cool mountain climate because we're about uh, several thousand feet up. This is San Pedro Street, which is the main street going from the Plaza Mayor up to the top of the old city. And believe it or not, this is a two-way street. Oh, actually, you're going to see that right now as the bus comes by. Uh, but also, I'd like to point out these balconies up above. That's very typical um, of architecture here to take advantage of the sun. And watch that bus trying to pass. And I have reached the top of the old city and the old walls that date from the 13th century. There are a few traditional buildings, estramuros, that is outside the walls that you can see through the gate. But essentially the old city is here. And I'll give you a quick panoramic view. Here is the Inquisition building, which today is the city archives. And we have the whole panorama of the old city and the modern city beyond it below us in this wonderful, wonderful mountain setting. This is Cuenca, Spain, about an hour and a half by car from Madrid.